The New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science announced a big discovery today, or rather a rediscovery of a fossil that may change what we know about one of the most recognizable dinosaurs. News 13's Natalie Wattis has details on how researchers made ancient history. One, two, three. A big reveal. Oh. In the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science Thursday, New Mexico is home to the newest, oldest species of Tyrannosaurus rex. And so you guys are the first, among the first, to see the, the official jaw of the new dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus mitraeensis. This partial toothy grin isn't actually new to the museum. It was found by some folks in southern New Mexico decades ago. These were people who lived in Las Cruces. They were boating on Elephant Butte Reservoir. This was in 1983. They landed on the eastern shore of the lake and had a big chunk of this jaw here that was lying on the ground. They brought it to the attention of the museum, and researchers would go back to the site throughout the 90s to find more of the skeleton. At that time, 30 to 35 years ago, the fossil record of Tyrannosaurus was not as robust as it is today. So these fossils were first recognized and called Tyrannosaurus rex. But science is a process. With each new discovery, it forces us to go back and test and challenge what we thought we knew. And that's the story, the core story of this project. Upon closer inspection in 2013 by then student Sebastian Dahlman, researchers began to think they might have something different on their hands and began to dig deeper. There's things in the jaw, there's things in, over the eye that are different. They noticed discrepancies in the size of the jaw and a missing ridge over the eye socket. And an analysis of the rock the fossil was found in put it in a whole new age bracket, 72 to 73 million years old. Our new Tyrannosaurus is about 5 million years older than Tyrannosaurus rex, which is really weird because it means the genus has been around for millions of years, but it changed over time. And may mean that this species of T-Rex may have been among the first to call New Mexico home. Is this the ancestor of T-Rex? What is this telling us about the origin of T-Rex? It didn't necessarily originate in, in Mongolia. It may have originated in southern North America. And so uh, what's good about it is this. Uh, any good piece of science should raise more questions than it answers. Natalie Wattis, KRQE News 13. And the fossil is currently on display at the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. Grant, I say we claim it. We say, no, T-Rex started here. I completely Mexico. agree, yeah. right? Yeah. Own it. Get the tourism department would, on this. Yeah, that'd be a big bragging right, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's just claim it until they, you know. Until someone proves it wrong. Because no one really knows. Exactly. Right? It's, it's all, it's all yeah. just an educated Put guess. it out there. Yeah.